Hi there. So, um, someone had asked me if I was still into the lucid dreaming and whatnot, and, um, I don't really have a response to that. Well, I do, but it's probably not the response that you were looking for, I guess. But, um, I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, yes, technically, but, um, not as committed to it as I was beforehand. Um, not because it's not as interesting, but I just kind of became more interested in other things, and, um, I thought, why push it, you know? Why try to get there before my time, I guess? I mean, because we're all going to get there. We're all going to get to that point, just some of us sooner than others and whatnot, and, I mean, if it's not my time, then it's not my time. But, um... Yes and no, I can become lucid in a dream, but I don't know, it's just not my main focus of, my main point of interest anyways. Um, I've been also kind of thinking about something. I came across a YouTuber, that was the word I was looking for. Um, I want to say his name is the Rip Shaman, something of that sort. I don't know, um, and he was talking about a lot of things, and I can't exactly tell you what right now, because I watched it like a week ago, but, um, what I, uh, I kind of started thinking about other things, and he was talking about rejection and suppression and whatnot, and I was thinking about how that really does tie in with, um, with one's life, I guess, and, uh, it got me thinking about my own life, and I would never say rejection, I've never really had rejection, um, well, I mean, everyone has had some rejection, but not, like, any pivotal pieces of rejection, I guess, but, um, the suppression, definitely, um, I grew up in a pretty Christian family, a pretty sheltered life as a kid, I, um, I didn't have a sugar cereal until I was 14, but, <laughs> but, uh, a lot of things i I wasn't allowed to watch Harry Potter, like, I did just, like, all these different, like, just sheltered. I was, I lived in a bubble my entire life, right? And, um, I didn't even realize until, I mean, you get out of, in the real world, and things just change a lot, and you, I think the suppression allows you to become your own person. I mean, I'm not agreeing with it, I'm not saying it's right, because... Um, there's a lot of things that I wish I would have been able to do that I that was just like so looked down upon and I feel like that causes one to rebel honestly and I mean that sounds like a typical teenager thing like the suppression and the re the retaliation but um there's a lot of truth to that honestly and uh, when you are suppressed you aren't able to be the person that you're supposed to be so you just kind of become someone else, that's just the way I see it, and, um, that's okay. I'm okay with that, uh, because I'm happy with who I am now. Um, I do still keep a lot of values that I had, that I was raised to believe, um, just out of, I don't know, just how I was raised. Like, that's just how I was raised, and I can't really break myself of those values. But, um, that's, I'm not too upset about that, um, because they're good values to have, like, you know, respecting the elders, um, you know, holding the door for people, and being really sweet, not really talking when you shouldn't, <laughs> I didn't really keep that one, but, um, long story short, suppression, this is an arrow, goes to, I guess for you guys it would be that way maybe anyways but um suppression and rejection leads to becoming your own person in my view um and you guys may disagree with me um i'm not saying i agree with suppression i'm not saying people should be suppressed but i'm saying that i wouldn't be the person i was or i am if i hadn't been so yeah that's all i really have to say for today see ya